The first thing you do to change the belt is release the tension on the jack screw. So you want to jack that screw out until the motor mounting plate is completely released and the belts are loose. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this lap joint screw out. That lap joint is what holds the two halves together on the partable shaft. And you'll notice that there is a lock washer on the bottom to make sure that that screw does not back itself off. The next thing you're going to do is loosen up the bearing units on either side of the partable shaft. And again, you'll want to be careful so that you don't back the screw all the way out and you'll be able to tell that the T-nut in there is in the position so it can slide right out of the slot. Usually takes about two and a half turns to where that's loose. And then you'll do the same thing on this side. Now once that partable shaft bearing units are loose, then you have enough room to actually separate the partable shafts. Let me drop this one. Okay. So now you have enough room to actually slip the pulleys off of the or slip the belts off the pulleys. So now you can take the belts off and easily replace the new belts. You'll notice that you've got enough play in the bearing units on either end to give you the room that you need to slip these off. So I'll take these belts off. I'll put my new belts back on. And then I can bring this partable shaft assembly back together. Retrieve my screw and screw that back into place. And then you'll want to make sure that your belts are in position. And now you want to put your bearing units back in place. Again, using the same technique, you back the screw out slightly, and then push up in and twist. And then the T-nuts catch. And then you'll tighten all of your bearing unit screws. All right, so now that you have your new belts in, then you can go ahead and put the belts on like previously shown in the video. And that's all it, uh, all it takes for a belt change.